Uh, hello everyone, welcome to this video. Uh, in this video, we will be talking about uh, Investment Notify project. Uh, so what we are going to do is, uh, we are going to build a notifier, basically something which sends a notification about some event. So what will the event? Uh, we will be focusing on uh, like any kind of investment, let's say gold or Bitcoin. And we will be uh, using its current price and uh, we will be uh, checking its live price. And if there is a decrease or increase in that, we will be sending the notification. But uh, if it is, let's say, if it is a decrease, we will uh, notify it. Yeah, this is the correct time to invest in this kind of investment. Otherwise, if it is an all-time high, we can notify that. Yeah, it's the correct time to sell. So, idea is to know when is the right time to invest money anyway, so that we can make the most out of it. Uh, so, in context of this project, I will be taking an example of gold price. Uh, I might be familiar with a graph like this and uh, this is basically a graph which is uh, showing the downs and ups of a curve graph uh, let's say if my, if we keep a uh, time on one axis and the price is on the other so this is uh, something which you will be getting if we fetch the live prices and then plot it up and down on the points we noted so, so what we can do is we can note the minima here if you talk about technical terms, minima is basically the lowest point. You can refer to it like that, and uh, the maximum points, which is known as the maxima. So whenever there is a minima, it is the best time to invest in that kind of currency or investment. And whenever there is a maxima, it is the correct time to sell it. So this is what we will be putting. We will be fetching it, and then we will be using uh, making making use of this fact to make our project. Sounds good, right? So yeah, the question is how? How we are going to break this whole idea into simple parts and how we are going to code it? I have uh, like break out the whole idea into simple parts and we'll be making a separate functions just to be sure if anyone wants to uh, like extend it or implement it in a different kind of investments. So it will be easy. So yeah, what we'll be doing first, first we'll be uh, entering the current price let's say if, uh, if we are talking about gold price uh, we will just uh, google search then what is the current price of the gold we will note it down and then we will be fetching the live price of the gold depending upon the current uh, uh, current price and the live price the current is obviously the past one which we entered manually this is a one-time job so what we'll be doing is we'll be fetching the live price of the uh, desired investment compared with the current Calculate the increase or decrease based on uh, whatever the value is and uh, if there is a threshold, we will uh, set a threshold, let's say 10%, 5%, 1%, whatever you say. Based on that, we will be notifying the user that yes, there is a 10% decrement, there is a 20% decrement, there is a sudden decrement. So yeah, yeah, you can notify the customers or say in our case us because we are making it for ourselves maybe. So uh, it will notify you that yes, the prices have gone down by 10% so it is the it's time to invest in this kind of, uh, type of currency and if let's say if it, the prices have gone up we can make uh, the sell all our current assets and uh, generate a good amount out of that and we will also try to implement uh, the same logic on multiple investments let's say on gold and let's say on uh, bitcoins and there are so many types of cryptocurrency in which we can extend the whole idea so in this project context, I will just talk about gold and I have done a similar implementation on Bitcoin. I will maybe extend it or push the source code on GitHub maybe just for reference. That's it for the project overview. Uh, I will be posting separate videos for implementing uh, each functionality and, and the basic point of making the video is to uh, ensure that we are not missing any concepts because that will help us in our future projects for us. Let's suppose um, there is a functionality for sending notifications. So that sending notification functionality can be used in any part of the project later on or in the next project. So basically you have to capture the concepts behind those. So I will be for the future videos also, I'll be breaking it into separate modules so that we can understand the concepts behind it better. So yes, we will continue this in our next video. Thanks for watching.